Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Polystax Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on Mike by Tyler. Hello. He's back from his long journey, and we've also got Human Brian. Good evening. Two weeks in a row, double the Brian. And tonight, we have the pleasure of streaming Creeks from Amanita Design, the makers of Machinarium and Semorost, makers of fine 2D adventure games. Oh, Brownmeister Dell had some uh, 3080s in stock last time I looked. Ooh, fancy. So have any of you guys heard of this game? No. Looks well, like it took, an adventure game. Right. It took Machinarium years to come to Xbox One, even though it was already on like Windows 8 and Windows Phone and whatnot. Uh-huh. But then this game actually came to Xbox at launch, I believe. Is it by the same developer? Yeah, same developer. It I'm definitely looks design. like the same style. Did I forget to reintroduce the game, or did I still say the game? I hope I said the game. I think you said Creeks. Okay. But I can't remember if I said it while I was muted or not. Uh, I, I don't know what creeks. to do. This is weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Open the closet door. Did you pay attention to the commands on the screen? Uh, no. So you can look up and down, just like in Sonic the Hedgehog, one of Tyler's favorite games. Oh, look. I fixed the light bulb. This artwork is gorgeous. I'll be right back. I miss Brian. So now that I fixed the light, I'm going to go back over here. And now you beat the game. Yes! Achievement unlocked. I don't know, the light's messing up again? Come on. <laughs> it's just four hours of fixing a light <laughs> and then sitting down and then fixing a light and sitting down. Light bulb simulator. Ah! The, wall, the wallpaper just peeled. Let's go look. So, Tyler, this is Halloween month. And so far, this is the only spooky game we've got lined up. its I mean, it's a bit spooky. It's not super. But it's kind of spooky in that limbo kind of way, I believe, you know? The ambiance is maybe a little scary. Do I seriously have to fix the light bulb again? <laughs> Whoa! Uh... Uh, you won't have to fix it another time, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad. Oh, and look at that. The wallpaper peeled again. Yeah, this room has seen better days. Also, the curtain, it's like one of, like an overhead projector screen. Yeah, we have... Well, actually, we have one Steam code for Creeks, and we have one Steam code for I Have No Mouth, But I Must Scream, which is also an adventure game like this, but much older. So, two Steam Prizes today. I would assume that for round one of the contest, we'll just do the the I have no mouth, but I must scream. And then maybe round two or three would be the the Steam version of this. So is it uh, creepy games all month? Well, that's the thing. I'd like to do creepy games, but I, the prizes that I have lined up so far are just regular games. So I really need to figure out some other creepy games to ask for in a hurry. Blacker. Yeah, well, I forgot what month it was. Also, my job keeps me really busy. I never forget what month it is. <laughs> you Two don't? big events this month. Hey, look, I found a rock and dropped it down. What are the other? What's the other big event? Is it your uh, Brian Rietta's my, birthday? My birthday is this month, and uh, our, my wife and I's anniversary is this month. Oh, hey, congratulations. What number anniversary month? will this be? 13. 13 years, very impressive. The longest I ever dated anyone was six years. That's not bad. Yeah, it was alright. Although I wasn't happy a lot of those years. So. Ah, well, what are you going to do? There's an irritable toddler in the background. I don't know if you can hear her or not. <laughs> Barely at all. I think. Yeah, that's right. By the way, guys, in the newsletter I said we had three Xbox codes, but it turns out that I read the email wrong. They gave us two Xbox codes and one Steam code. So for that reason, I added a digital movie code to tonight's prizes. 
And do I know anything about the digital movie? No, I don't. Do you know what movie it is? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I've got the paper. It's called If I Stay. And the I, the pronoun I, is written in lowercase, which I do not approve of. So I assume it was made by slacker millennial types. Whoa, look at that. That is a really wild zoom out we just got. Oh no, Wiki, don't type it wrong. Unless I typed it wrong in the spreadsheet. Do you see this, you guys? That is very visually creative. And I'm still climbing down the ladder. I can climb back up or down while it's all crazy zoomed out. Wow, I can't even see where you are. Yeah, oh, there you... you are. You're at the top. Oh, okay, well, uh... I got you. Good lord. It's... Yeah, this is really interesting. Strange opening. I mean, a little more context would have been good before they just drop you into your light bulb explodes and, you know, a portal opens up in the side of the wall. But, hey. You you really got to try again there, Dr. Player. That made no sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's saying in a past life I dated men. Um, which, you know, if I did, that's my business. I mean, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Who knows? All Paul's that's wives true. left him for other men. Oh, uh, well, first of all, I've only had two wives, and secondly, I... Yay! Thank you for the subscription, Link. Is that Link who did it? That yeah, is Link, Link, you're the best. Anyway, they didn't leave me for other guys, and uh, I broke up with the most recent one in favor of a better woman. So how about that? Take because... that. Yeah, I mean, my most recent wife, while she was really cool when we first started dating, became much, much less cool, and I should not have rushed into that. You know what Matthew Perry and Selma Hayek say? <laughs> what do they say? Wolves rush in. Ah, uh, so true. I don't know what I'm doing now in this game. So you could... I'm just looking through these weird rooms of this underground place. Yeah, Link is... I mean, actually, most of our viewers have been here for three or more years, and quite a few of them have been here the whole time or close to it. Well, that was a great joke. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I wish there was a way to see what's interactive on the screen, like some adventure games let you do. So that was just a way back into there. I can't go back in there. It's... So is this a puzzle game? It's I've a, not heard of this game before. It's a regular adventure game. Oh, cool. But it... Hey, is that something I can touch? It was hot in that movie. She's hot in most of her movies. Yeah. Wasn't yes, she in Wild she Wild West or something like that? Like yes, she was. Yeah, she was smoking hot in that one. Down plus A, jump down. Okay, but where am I supposed to go? Um, up. Guess down. so. Left. <laughs> right. BA, BA, start. It's a little Contra reference. Shitsu, thank you! You guys are so good. I was just complaining to Tyler that in our Discord community, and they occasionally turn up to a stream, we have some real negative Nancys who get on my nerves quite often. But we also have a ton of awesome people who aren't negative at all and who are just great to be around, and I love you all. So, jump down here. Okay. Jump across here, because I don't want to fall on that. So Tyler explained to us that he has been doing Funko Pop things today, you know, mm -hmm. taking his Funko Pops out, kissing yeah, and licking them on them and stuff. We went for a walk, <laughs> and we went to the mall. Sounds delightful. Yep. So what have you Sounds been doing, Brian? like an interesting Saturday. <laughs> um, I have been trying to play video games most of the day, but I haven't been feeling very good today. That's a real shame. Woke up with a terrible headache. Aw. Any particular games that you've been itching to play? I am uh, just starting Yakuza, uh, Yakuza 4. Ooh. 
Have you tried that Yakuza beat em up they just released on Steam? Yes, I have, and it's pretty good. I tried it this morning. Nice. It, it's 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 a reskin of um, Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage 4? Or uh, 2? The first one, I think. Interesting. We'll have to see. Guys, we're giving out a cool classic adventure game. It's this style of game, and it's based on the Harlan Ellison short story of the same name. Okay, we got a robot dog. I, th I think it's a bad guy. Can you die in this? Uh-oh. Yep, he just ate the crap out of me. So we learned that you can die. Is this a bit like Limbo? Isn't Limbo kind of like this, but with more platforming? Limbo's a lot more platforming. I mean, you can jump in Limbo. I'll be back in a second. I can jump across holes, and I can jump down things. Can I just... I don't know what to do about the dog. Push something on top of him. I'd love to. If I get too close, well, he'll attack Run me. backwards, and then he'll fall through where those bricks are or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Can I lure him into the hole? Come on, stupid. Ah, here he comes. Come get me. He just he stopped. Oh, can I when now I go behind go him? Up and over, yeah. Great idea. Have I played inside? Yes, we actually streamed inside back when it came out. I've never actually played it still. I need to. Looks a lot like Limbo. It does. Tyler, you really need to get inside of inside. Go, Icky. All right, Icky's taking the code. All right, Icky. Congrats. <laughs> Icky has a mouth and he can scream. <laughs> For now. There's a creepy kite that just flew by in the background. There's so much detail to this. Another robot dog? Are you serious? So I think I, I think this exact same puzzle solution applies here. Which, if so, isn't that a little bit lazy? Uh, I don't know. Come on, stupid dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Ah! Ah! He's chasing me! Very bad dog. Goodness. That's one temperamental pooch. Yeah. What's the point of him? That's what I want to know. You know, my girlfriend's sister, her dog was dog-napped by an ex-boyfriend just earlier this week. And wow. Few, yeah, and it took a few days to get it back. He just did it to mess with her, you know? I hope he ends up in jail for it. Well, he is probably going to jail. He's a fugitive right now. But it wasn't just for the dog-napping. It was also for other things, which I shouldn't mention. So not Let's a see. great guy all around. Gotcha. Yeah, although he had seemed, I mean, he had seemed like your average lazy stoner type who doesn't work, but turns out he's worse than that. <laughs> come on, stupid dog. Bad. Just come get me. All right, there we go. I don't like mean robot dogs. Ads is referring to the the 3D screensaver that Windows used to have, I think. Is that what it is? Probably. I don't remember it, though. Well, Kotaku ran an interesting article about a like the first horror-themed video game, which was a computer game in 1982, I believe. And a good little article. <laughs> I don't know if he's above average anymore. Okay. I can look through this hole. It's a room with another dumb robot dog. Sleeping. So, earlier ads, I think it was, asked about a controversy about the PlayStation 5 thermal draw or something. What was. Did anybody know what he's talking about? Uh, from what I understand, the PS5 is designed to draw up to 350 watts, which is about what the PS4 Pro is designed to draw, so... 
Um, don't know what the controversy there is. Um, I'd heard that the Xbox One was ridiculously hot when it runs. Nope. Yeah, they. That was that a was lie. A, yeah, it was a false rumor, and they. Oh, debunked, really? Yeah, they debunked it. And the the Series X is only designed to draw 315 watts versus 350 of the PS5. So. Yet either Sony, way. either Sony is being extremely cautious with their power supply, which would be foolish because that costs them more money, or there's something in the console that makes it draw way more power. Don't know which. Can we not have parts where I'm just exploring and not having to deal with puzzles the whole time? No, this is probably it is the whole game. Puzzle game then. Uh, yeah, it's pretty puzzly. Not so much story stuff happening just yet. Like an adventure game often would have intriguing story parts. So I can go over here. Why do I want to go down here again? Oh, do I want to trap the dog? Is that it? I think it so. looks like you want to trap the dog between yeah, you don't the two doors. Down. You don't want to go down when you run away from. Him. You want to go up. Okay. Oh wait, Good, no. Yeah, you're right. Go yeah, up after I yeah, get him to come that. over. Come on. Yeah, and then you can then you can trap him on the other side, I think. Okay, so get him to come all the way over here. Yep. Come on, you bad dog. Nobody likes you. Yay, and it's saved, so that must have been the correct solution. A shake and a horseshoe felt. Oh, all kinds of things are falling. Mostly horseshoes. I mean, why, would, why would Sony decrease the price whoa, of the PS4? Whoa. It's already cheaper. Ooh, wow, that's a cool little leg. Yikes. What lives down here? Yeah, they should re release Alone in the Dark with like modern 3D graphics because the original Alone in the Dark was a really cool game. I liked it. I had it on the 3DO. But the characters were flat shaded polygons, which obviously doesn't age very well. Let's just go down this ladder, shall we? There was an Xbox 360 alone in the dark, I seem to remember. Any of you guys play that? I heard, I heard it wasn't it. very good. Yeah, I seem to remember that as well. Okay, we got a dog over there. I'm just going to run down the ladder. He stops and starts barking. This is just so visually interesting. That's what I really love about it. And we've got a kite hanging over there. Grab it. If I Jump could. Grab it. <laughs> That's the problem. They don't want you to do any actual platforming. It's all puzzle solving, isn't it? There's a little, a little chest of drawers or table. Oh, no, I can drag it. Okay. Now I might be able to grab it, Tyler. Okay. Nope, that did nothing. What was the point of that? The Weird. point is to get to the ladder. Oh, oh, I need to use it to get to the ladder. Okay, I was hoping it was... I wanted that kite! Yeah, me too. <laughs> kite for well, you. Whatever. <laughs> Clove and Casey rage quit on Alone in the Dark. Wow, that frustrating? Irenia says she doesn't need platforming. I like a good platformer myself. I love platforming games. It is one of the OG genres. Agreed. And, you know, last week you helped as we streamed Crash 4, and that game was a lot of fun. Ah! I know a, oh, I know a lot of that history of cool. Crash games. They're fun. The dog is... The dog won't walk into the light. Interesting. Nice. You caught on to that pretty quick. Uh oh, more shaking, more and gigantic. Then the out. Oh. Ooh, that's a big claw. Yeah, that's bad. But, wow. It broke the light, now the dog can come get you. <laughs> I know, that sucks. They should at least have some of the dogs be different colors or something to make up for using the same thing for each enemy. They're that's just robots. When you make robots, you don't make them different colors. The claw. In the NES days, they would have. Alright, run past this dog. 
I... Oh my gosh. I don't see what to do here. Um... Just kill yourself and play Crash 4. <laughs> hmm. I'm happy to be playing this, but it is... I can only play a game like this without a guide for so long, and then I get kind of, like, tired of not knowing what to do. Maybe you can get the dogs to run into each other, and they'll eat each other. What oh, yeah, I would do is shot. drop down and get the other one to f chase you, and then run up the ladder if you can. Okay. There you works. go. Just like that. Thank you. Good job, boys. Couldn't do it without talking you. to each other. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're friends now. So I hope everybody in the audience saw in the newsletter I shared a picture of my Super Pac-Man Arcade 1-Up cabinet. I bought that from a guy a guy from Houston. He drove down like just over an hour to drop it off, you know. And I'm always nervous to do those kind of in-person transactions, Craigslist or whatever. But it worked out, thankfully. One day you'll meet Pac the Ripper. It's scary. Normally, I choose to meet them at a police station because nobody's going to pull anything in a police station. But in this case, it was better to have him bring it here so we could test it out. And I like so bank park, bank bank parking lots. Those are pretty good. Oh yeah, that would also be fairly safe. Because a okay. lot of the banks around here have a security have an armed security guard up front. Okay. Ah, we actually we don't have anybody. You mean like in inside though, not outside, right? No, they like stand at the door. Oh, did you see that? I turned the light on on the he dog. Turned he turned into just a vanished. dresser. Yeah. Interesting. That's what he gets. Or a uh, chest of drawers, end table, whatever you want to call it. Ew, darker player. That's not good. Out of all of us, Tyler is the only one here who approves of recreational drug use. Not me. <laughs> I don't I much care either way. <laughs> Yeah, no, actually, I don't care very much, but... Okay, now I've shut that. Now we can... Didn't I... I climbed Go up the ladder, down... man. Yeah, I see that I... I just... I'm scared of missing anything, but I guess it doesn't matter, does it? If I turn that light back off, would the dog turn... Would he come back into dog form? Mm -hmm. I've never even heard of this game, let alone played it. Ads request that I play more indie games like this. I mostly play indie games ads. The last few weeks we have been streaming some big releases because I happen to get codes for them. But it's mostly indie games. Oh, okay, now I'm crawling through this shaft. Tyler was just telling me how much he liked shafts the other day. I don't know what he meant, though. Like a good shaft. Who doesn't when you get right down to it? But one thing I don't like is getting shafted. At work, other places. Yiggity. Achievement, yeah. Art collector. Oh, look, that's pretty. Yeah, that's the, a pretty nice piece of art there. Yeah, painting. Yeah, it has guy. different colors than this game has. <laughs> that's true. Well, we're underground in this weird dark world, Tyler. You can't expect it to be super colorful. But the painting has a guy with a kite, right? And we have seen a couple of kites so far, so perhaps it ties in in some way. Okay, this light works right here, so I gotta. Lure the dog into the light. No big deal. <laughs> Turn him right into one of those things. I love how when it turns, he just sort of wobbles a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice touch. Then you can turn on more lights. I don't see what's the point of... What does it matter if I turn on more lights? Are there going to be more characters to stun or something? Dinner. Whoa, what? Oh... He turns I see. back into a dog. That's why. That's why. So I gotta get him. Come on, you stupid. There you go. So. Do you um, want to tell you how to do the puzzle? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so turn on the far left light. Wait. Turn on the far left light. Which is this one? The okay, switch got it. Middle, yeah. middle left. Got it. Push okay. the chest of drawers over a little bit to the left. Okay. Then turn, turn off the, the right. And then got run it. over that way. Turn off the left light. And turn it into a chest of drawers over by the stairs. 
Come here, buddy. Oh, the dog turns into the chest of drawers. I didn't notice that. And then turn on yeah. the light and he'll... There you go. ta -da. Pretty good. Loves your uncle. Thanks. Yeah, I would have figured that out after a moment, but... You'd have got saving it time eventually, but yeah. time is money here. Precisely. <clears throat> I'm really liking my not-so-bad green screen effect tonight. It's not too bad. Yeah, the stream finally looks how I want it to look, basically. If you can, if you can get your lights up higher to kind of shoot down at you, you'll get blinded less. That'd be good. Do I look real blinded right now, though? No, I mean, it's up to you. It's, you know, personal preference. Okay, is that where it just came from? Yes. Yeah, all right. Money in chat tonight. Yeah, I wish we could do... Back when I worked at Windows Central, I don't know if you guys remember, every now and then I could get the company to buy, like, we would have three $10 or $15 gift cards. Oh, yeah, I those, remember that. Those oh, yeah. were the days. That was, those were good prizes. Classic. Classic. Whoa, I just slipped on... Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness! Is that mm -hmm. Someone else is turning the lights on? The dogs are when they step on those switches. Oh. <laughs> Come here, stupid dog. Um. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. Just feed yourself to the dogs. Get it over with. <laughs> I've already been hit by the dogs. So do I need to do a puzzle here, or do I just need to go up the ladder? I'm probably I overthinking just go, it. Just go see where the ladder goes. All right. <laughs> uh, are there 4K webcams? I don't know. Like, I actually have no need to upgrade from this webcam until such time as... I don't know when. I just I can't see any kind of benefit. We already don't run this webcam at full resolution. Like, we're zooming in on a tiny portion of the 1080p screen. Yeah, the only way you're getting 4K is if you uh, get a DSLR. Ooh. That's the only way you're getting a 4K webcam. Gotcha. I do want to someday pay someone to make a stream overlay. I know, Brian, you're a big proponent of having overlays so that the video doesn't overlap the... The webcam doesn't overlap the picture, right? Mm hmm So someday I would like to do that. I mean, I make enough money where I could do that now. I just never have done so. I know the Brown Meister, he recently spent a few hundred dollars on his upgrading his stream's visuals, I think. So this turns on that one. So we got to get him to come down here and then quickly run up and hit that, I guess. Oh. The only thing is, how do I get him to stay stunned? Get the other dog to stand on it. Oh, uh, gotcha. I guess. Ah! Dang it! Man, he grabbed me right off that ladder. Oh, wow. <laughs> Smart dog. <laughs> uh, I don't appreciate it. I know I'm supposed to not hate, but... No! Uh, I gotta go down faster. That's what she said, but <laughs> we'll do this. We'll do this. Oh, goodness. What do you guys think of the trailer for the new Monster Hunter movie? Has anyone seen pictures or video of it? I watched a little bit of it. It looks pretty stupid. I barely watch good movies, let alone bad ones. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a very, say, faithful adaptation, but... It does have some things going for it, like the big monsters look how you would want them to look. Yeah, the big monster look cool. The, it's the machine gun stuff that I think I and many other people don't really appreciate. Yeah. Because it just doesn't belong in Monster Hunter. But you can't count on Paul. Is it Paul S. Anderson? Is that? Uh, his? no. Paul there are w. machine S. gun. Anderson there are machine type like things in Monster Hunter. There are, but not... But not, not like they, machine gun machine guns. It's real human world machine guns. It's not oh, fantasy well, that's machine stupid. guns. That's just stupid. They probably have some kind of story justification for it, like a portal between the real world and the Monster Hunter world or something, but still, it's yeah. just not needed. 
Are you talking about uh, Amelia Jovovich, uh, ADS? Fairly good-looking woman, although she is in all those bad Resident Evil movies. She she seems to have a thing for marrying uh, directors. Well, I mean, just the one director, right? Or no, she, she was also married to the director of The Fifth Element, Luc Besson. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. Yep. We're getting to where the puzzles are too complicated for our own good. <laughs> They're too complicated for you. That's what you're saying. Yes, that is what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, you think you'd have an easy time of this, Tyler? Not no easy, but I mean, like, puzzle games aren't just meant to be easy the whole time. I could do this pretty easy. Boo. <laughs> But yeah, like the mechanics themselves are super basic and there's like only, you know, you try and fail a few things and... Okay, that wasn't a good idea. I was going to say, why did you climb down that ladder? I'm just trying different things. Suggestions? You want to walk me through this? I'm not... Aha! Yeah, I've Let's only seen see. pictures of the trailer. I haven't watched it. That's why I asked. But... Okay. Okay, so you're going to want to get both dogs on the other side of the doors so you can get them to chase you and converge right in the center to turn both those lights on to prevent the other two dogs from attacking you and then climb down, no, climb up those stairs. So, get that dog out like this. Yep. All right, is he actually going to walk back though or is he just going to stay there? He should walk back. You, you got to wait for it though. All right, let's find out. If Monster Hunter was like more realistic to the game, it would be 150 hours long, and there would just be like four hour long segments where you fight the same monster over and over so you get a new pair of boots. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody minds them adding more plot to it or something, but again, the just the real world stuff, it's more, probably more of a cost cutting thing or an attempt to appeal to people who don't like fantasy, but either way, uh, I don't really see how to get that left dog out without yeah. dying. Just walk down there Go all and the way down. run What's for the down? ladder in the center that goes down. What's in that room all the way down? Like, bring the left dog up towards you. Like, go go aggro him and draw him to the right. Okay. And then go down the ladder to the other two dogs. Oh, God. Like that? Yep. And wait for them to turn the lights on. There you go. No. Now drop down and go up the other ladder. Okay. Go quickly. Woo! Okay. okay. That I'm works. just standing around futzing. <laughs> But I like futzing, it's fun. Alright. And that's how you die. I want more story stuff in this, like... Yeah, there isn't a whole lot. It's like, has there been any story so far? Well, there was that uh, art or whatever. Yeah, and here's something, there's a weird looking guy walking down yeah. below. We just finished the first nine weeks of school at my school, guys. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the and thing you is... only caught COVID one time. <laughs> well, I almost caught it once, but uh, it is the likelihood of me catching it will have greatly increased for this time because of the fact that twice as many kids are attending in person now. So I want... Why would I want to be able to jump down here? Any okay, reason? so what you gotta do for this is you gotta draw the dog to the left, go drop down, climb back up the ladder, and draw the dog to the right. Wait. And then go back down the ladder to turn the other dog to go up. Did you catch that? Uh, first thing I do is what? Top dog left. Okay, all that's the way. What I then jump oh. down. Then climb up the ladder again and draw him back to the right, except okay. go back down the ladder, which will freeze the other dog into a piece of shelving. Alright. Go back up, get him on this side. Cool. Yeah, I can have that. Come get me, buddy. This is a pretty easy puzzle game by puzzle game standards. Yeah, it's not so bad. If you want a hard one, play The Witness. That game is really hard. I'm not going to make a joke. But, yeah, that does... It looked hard. Tyler, didn't you play that back when it came out? 
What is it? The, the witness. witness. Yeah, I played the witness. It was hard. Ooh. It's a super hard game. Wow, look at you this. You have to be really into those, like, what were they, like, grid? Grid puzzle games or something? Yeah, the grid puzzles. Those are... It's, it's a Some of the other stuff idea. is really fun, but there's, like, an overwhelming amount of those puzzles. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm playing, like, a weird little video game. A game within a game. That's interesting. Yeah. Kitty! Don't squish the froggy. Watch out for the kitty. Yep, another frog. Bucket? Or something? Spooky looking dog thing? Grasshopper? Patience. Now, this is gameplay. <laughs> I don't mind it, I just kind of. I wish I knew what was coming. <gasps> hey, achievement! You made oh, it. Aw, oh, look at that. That's elaborate. Kind of reminds me of that Lego Super Mario Brothers set. The one where you can make the picture scroll. Mm. Do I get anything for having done that other than the achievement, I wonder? Like, is there any gameplay purpose of it? Probably not. It's probably just the achievement. Aw, oh, man, I was fully expecting you to fall through the floor there. Yeah, I thought it would happen as well. What if I just... Yeah, I don't like that you can't just jump whenever you want. You can push the A button if there's nothing around and he looks confused. But anyway. So, Brian, this movie I watched a Japanese science fiction movie, a classic. The first color sci-fi movie Japan ever made called Warning from Space. Have you ever heard of it? I cannot say I've heard of it. I hadn't heard of it either until I saw that there's a nice Blu-ray edition of it coming out, you know? Cool. And I blind bought it because generally I like stuff like that. I like Japanese sci-fi and sci-fi in general, right? And historical uh -huh. sci-fi. But it was I'm afraid it was quite a boring movie, so most people would not enjoy it, in my opinion. The the thing is the setting the premise is that like these UFOs get witnessed, and that part's pretty interesting, you know, everyone's reacting to the UFOs and whatnot. And then turns out that the aliens are here to warn everybody that the Earth's going to be struck by, like, a rogue planetary body. That and sounds then, very familiar to me. I've heard this story before. Hmm. It's a fine premise, but the thing is, after that, there's, like, 45 minutes or so of everyone just waiting for the planetary body to strike and like it makes the earth heat up you know so they're all sweaty and stuff so they're just standing around sweating and sheltering and that's pretty much the whole movie until finally the problem gets solved at the end weird uh, yeah for this what i would do is drag the one on the bottom to the switch little, a little bit to the left or to the right to the switch but keeping it under the light oh uh you dragged it too that? far you dragged it too far story of my life. That's what they would call my biopic. Paul Acevedo, A Drag Too Far. Anyway, uh, drop down here. Oh, there might be a better way to do this. Better? Okay. How could it... Okay, so turn on the top light. Why is there a middle light? That's what I want to know. Go back up the stairs. Okay. No, no, leave it on. Go back up the stairs. Okay. Pull up the bridge. Oh. Go back downstairs. Okay. Turn off the left light. Come here, Actually, buddy. Actually, yeah, turn them both off. Because you want to freeze the dog there in the middle, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to freeze him in the middle. And then go back upstairs. Push the uh, the gate down to block the light. Okay. And then go down the ladder. To lure him back over here. To lure him back over to stand on the switch. Uh oh. He walked past it, he didn't stay on it. Oh wow, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick on this one. Yeah, I don't like this. Well, yeah, now you gotta kinda do the whole thing over again. <clears throat> no, sir, I don't like it. I didn't realize you'd have to be that quick. Wow. Me neither. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, ads one, you gotta let people message you. <laughs> oh, hey, Philosophy, how are you? Did I say hi to Shih Tzu? I hope I did. Shih Tzu subscribed, right? So probably. Yeah, I think you did. Okay. PX Latino Heat, Homie Drew. Homie Drew always streams like while I'm at school in the middle of the day, so I've never gotten to catch one of his streams, unfortunately. Okay, now I turn off that one. And this one. Lure him over. I want to push him all the way over to the right so I have more time. Is I want it hurt. Will he automatically just start walking to the left without me having to do anything? He will. Okay. Yep. Oh! No, that didn't work. Uh, what didn't would go. make him stay in place? Actually, I don't... Um, yeah, I don't um, think that's the solution, but I don't know. That's Can part of the way to the solution. I wonder if you turn the other light on, if the dog will freeze as soon as he hits the light. Uh, turn the other light on. How am I going to do that? So, go over there. How many lights are there? There's only two. There's three. Wait, there's three? One on there's the one at the top, too. Oh, no, there's four. The plate is the, uh... Yeah. Oh, no. The thing on that. Okay, go up the ladder. Lift it up. Can you, like, I, just I drag the, that the chest where it is now down, like, to the right enough to be on this plate and still be He tried and it killed him. Yeah. Oh. So go down. Freeze the dog in the light like he usually would. Except oh, yeah. Keep that just keep the bottom light on. Then he'll walk back to where he was. He won't enter to that last step to the light. Correct. Oh, and yeah. it should freeze him exactly where you need him to be. And then he'll stay Good on the idea. plate. Come here, Mr. Bad Dog. Come here. Go, Tyler. Oh, I think I'm saying the same thing, but yeah. I was in the process of explaining it to you, but that's okay. I'm sorry, but Tyler gets the win on this one. <laughs> yes. That's fine. Because I jumped in and interrupted everything. Okay. So it's been a pretty good day. I've been doing more arcade one-up work, you know. I have quite a collection of cabinets going and I like to modify them with real arcade parts and whatnot. And I wrote a guide, which I mentioned in the newsletter, for how to install a real Japanese arcade stick inside of one. It was a good day. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this one guy said that he'd, he'd install a, like a pencil into his arcade one-up if I wrote the guide for it because he liked it so much. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's nice. Because I really that's do nice. I try to anticipate every little thing, every little part of the experience. And Well, that, that just way. means you got to write more of those guides, Paul. You could be famous for it. Well, I wish there was a way to profit from it, but there's really not because it's such a niche thing to modify your hardware like that. I suppose. Okay, let that down for some reason. <clears throat> Why do I... Because you're going to lure... You're going to lure the dog to the left. Is he coming? No, not until you come around. Okay. Yeah, I like how you can tell when they're really attracted. There we go. Can I go down this way? Yeah, sure, jump down. to your death. Jump down. Jump down. That'd be cool, Icky, but I can't do it better than places that already do it. There was, years ago, I really actually did modify people's arcade sticks with better parts and things like that, or, like, make them work with PlayStation 4 and Xbox. I used to do that, and I liked it. But also, sometimes it would go poorly, and that would... You know, like, I'd run into a problem that I couldn't really solve, and then that really sucked, because I've already got the guy's money and his stick. So, if I knew more about electrical engineering than I do, then... I could more confidently run a business like that. Okay. Release to drawbridge. Is there any reason that I want both dogs over here? To get him, uh, to get him to stand on the two switches. Well, one. Do you see what to do? You want both dogs on the right side. On the right, not the left. Yes, because there's two switches on the right. You see them? Under the light. Okay, but how do I attract the left dog over without getting killed? 
heck if I know. Lift up the, the gate. Oh. Yeah, then just walk up to him and then... Okay, whatever. Come here, Mr. Bad Dog. Get him. You're just far enough out of the road to the right one. Alright. Go up and shut the gate open. Okay. And what problem have I solved by doing this? I don't think you <laughs> wanted to lift the drawbridge. <laughs> I think you want the drawbridge down so the dog can walk away slightly. Darker Player wants to know, you know, this generation, the Xbox One and the Switch both have analog stick problems. Darker Player wants to know, do we think Nintendo and Microsoft have solved them? Answer is, I don't think so. Nintendo won't. I think, I think it's just an inherent drawback of having uh, analog sticks. They're eventually going to wear out. Do you hear about PlayStation 4 controllers getting afflicted with stick drift? I don't. No, their sticks just break. <laughs> Remember when it first came out, they had all those peeling ones and stuff? Yeah. Yeesh. Um, okay, I'm still not really seeing where we're going with this. Oh, you're trying to go to the right. Yeah, you need right. to draw the, the dog for the right over. But how do you do that without getting munchied on? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see it. You want to... I see what's going on here. Okay. So, what you're going to want to do is actually you're going to want to draw both of them over to the left to begin with. And then run over to the right and turn the light off and then lure them back over. How the hell are you going to do this? Jeez, yeah, this yeah. one's hard. For real. You get anything on this, Tyler? Um, not at the moment. What is that? A, yeah. So you can you can do that drop thing from either side. No, well, but this you can only side. lift it from the left side and you can only drop it from the right side. I can roll this thing up and trap the one dog on the Oh, that's the right. a bridge, I see. Oh, that's what you have to do. You have to trap the dog on the bridge. Uh, like, on the piece in the center. Really? Yeah. So then you... He's not a threat to you anymore. And then you can lure the dog from the right over. Okay, let's see if that works. Smush him. Yeah, what if I smush him? When he well, I don't know if, he, if you could smush him, I guess. I don't know. Nah, smush him. Definitely go for the smush. We got to. Oh, it's too. It wouldn't go down while he was down there. Yeah, I, I, I didn't figure the game would let you do that. You need him. The C, we hope you have a good drive back. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is yeah, always a pleasure. Uh, so we can't smush him. Draw him and leave him stranded on that piece where the top just clanked down. Oh, then I could I could turn the drawbridge up. Yep, lift the drawbridge on both sides and, then... and leave him stranded there. Okay. So you, ha so you have control of that dog. Yeah, I guess. And Why then you can, you can deal with the one on the right. I hope so. Yeah, I'm not good at thinking 20 steps ahead like this. Hey, no time for games. We're glad you're here. No, it's right when the sea shows up. No time for games has to leave. Mm. What are the odds? Okay. Now let's see if he actually tries to go back over to the left. And we'll just leave him stranded right there. Oh, too early. <laughs> you, but, can, you can put it down. He'll still walk over. <laughs> He's just like, ah! Yes! There now okay. Now leave him stranded there. It's a shame it won't let me crush him. You need him for the puzzle, you can't crush him. Yeah. Um, what about this other dog? Um. Wow, you got some bands. So there's some bots. I see this, yeah, there's a bot there. Good. Yay! Okay, you only have to ban him once. <laughs> How many Drew banned him with extreme prejudice? Oh, there's been like four uh, uh, different whoa, whoa. ones. I, oh, I see, oh wow, you're getting bot attacked here. Thank you, homie I see, Drew. I see that, homie Drew. Good job. You're on the ball. Yeah, well, let me turn you could do that. only mode on. Where is that? Follower only. Oh, 
online followers must go. For an hour. There you go. Follower only. For an hour. If you want to talk, okay. you have to be a follower. Yep. I would strand <laughs> strand the dog there and leave the heck him. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Even Tyler's gonna get on it. <laughs> it's just looking like too much fun. The whole stream's gone to seed. Let's see, I can't purge that. Only Tyler can. <laughs> Oh really? You can't asshole. purge other. Uh, you can't purge other mods. Mod stuff. That's funny. <laughs> Lordy. Well, considering that we're going to be stuck for the next twenty minutes, perhaps it's for the best. We can just goof on Tyler. So you just need to be able to get that dog on the right to the left somehow, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I still... Lift the bridge so they're both stuck over there. <laughs> but what do I get from sticking them over there? One different thing. Won't that other one just stay looking at it forever because he wants to go back to his home? Get the left dog to the left, Icky says. He was yeah, already on the left. He, that's why I feel like he should be. Yeah, I guess Tyler, that's Oh no, what if you... No. He'll... This is too complicated. They've jumped the shark. Okay, now lift up the bridge. Does he just slide back? Yeah, he just slides. Yeah, he's, he's just sliding back. It's not... You have to trap him in the center and then lure the other dog over. He has a suggestion. Trap him on, oh yeah, you trap him on the left and then lure the other dog all the way over and then you jump down and then go back to the right and up the ladder. Okay, so he's on the left. Lure the yep. other... How can I lure the dog any farther than... Now lift up the bridge on the left. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Oh, right, so he can't get... And then you can jump down. Well, that'll allow you to jump down and it'll trap the other dog here, and then you can lift up the bridge. Oh, I was telling you to trap the wrong dog on that, that little medium okay, part. Okay, I see. Yeah, th we were overthinking it. No, I was just thinking, what? I was thinking of it in the wrong order. All right, quick, 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 fall. Nope, no, oh, good. Not fair. The, the speed that you have to have, I don't know. Don't, you don't even need to trap them though, because you need him on your right side to be turned into a thing. You can climb up that ladder over there. Yeah, but how could I possibly get to the... Oh, I see. So just run right. to the right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Run to the right. Brilliant, Tyler. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Yeah, it's a little clanky, but most games like this are clunky. Yeah, quite often. <laughs> now I pull him into this light. But I really want him to be on the other light. Is that what I'm seeing here? Do you really need both dogs? Looks like that, yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta trap this one here and then go get the other one. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Oh. Annoying. Yeah. But it may work. It's just crazy enough to work. Yeah, this will be a lot easier. So yeah, platinum, are you yeah, lower the bridge and just walk him over? Try him over. Okay. But then, don't I still have to keep him from getting back somehow? No, you turn him into a piece of furniture and then stick him on one of the plates. But he won't He'll go just all the way chase over. you, and then you can turn him know. into a chest. I see. Yeek! All right. Um, there you go. And then push the other one over to the stairs. Wow. Okay. So many steps involved. Yeah, this was a complicated puzzle. Jeez. There's something to look at over here. But I have to push this guy over to look at him. Alright, 
Let's see what we see. There's a statue of the guy that we saw walking, or it seems to be the same kind of guy if it's not the same guy. Not very that interesting. A... Yeah, what was the point of that? Context? I don't know. Maybe just to let us know that guy's somebody important? Maybe that's you in a parallel universe. Yikes! Mind blown! Right. No stream issues here. Yeah, stream Another picture. Ooh, look at that. I can hit Y to make it do something. What the heck? He's waving his arms at her. Kitty's waggling his tail. There's a creepy guy in the background. Oh, there is a creepy guy back there. I was thinking the guy in the foreground his looked pretty eyes are too. blinking. <laughs> yeah, th I don't think I'm supposed to do anything there, or am I? I don't know if you have to do anything, but the creepy guy in the background decides for blinking. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any inter interactivity to this one. I wish I had a Wacom tablet. I used to have a a graphics tablet a long time ago. So I'm just going to start up and then run away. I never heard of it. Of a graphics tablet? Of a Wacom tablet? Wacom, it's a particular make, kind. Yeah, they have Wacom a brand. tablet. Wacom. Like they Wacom Old, but with tablets. They make some super high end tablets. You'd be better off just buying an iPad at this point. It'd probably be cheaper. <laughs> All right, we're going down the ladder. We can look out one side. <clears throat> you can see there's a steeple over there. Odd trees here and there. I wonder how trees can grow under here with no sunlight. I'm guessing they fell down here at some point. Could be. It's just such an interesting world. I wish I could get through it without nonstop puzzles. Yeah, it's definitely a puzzle game. I would have guessed it was an adventure game based on the looks. Same. But you fall through that. Oh, it's not even there. It's just a hole. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a floating bad guy of some kind. Let's oh, see what he does. Oh, yeah. Boss fight. Whoa. <laughs> you think so? There's a tree with books in it made of gold, maybe, or something? I guess bronze. Yep, new enemy. I want to try to attract one's attention and get killed by it. Yeah, do it. But I don't see... Oh, if I get on here, that one will kill me. Hey, buddy. Oh, he pulled me up and dropped me, and now he's... Oh, he's got, like, a light, and he's chasing me with it? Oh, I don't my. know what that means. I think he's going <laughs> to hit you. He's going to probe you, yeah. Uh-oh. The probulator. Probulator bad. Definitely. I guess, maybe a sting. Yeah, actually, uh, it kind of hurts when I walk now. Anyway, so can they not go in the light? Let's find out. There's a switch over there. How would I get over to that switch? Could I have gotten there from... No, I have to climb up this ladder to get to it. I see. Okay, and... Here's... They won't go into the light. That's good. Just walking right behind him. I wonder I what they turn into. Good question. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Steal Which... the gold from the tree. I wish I could. I can't do anything up at the top of the ladder. Okay. Can I do anything over there? I can look down. Yahoo! But nothing else. Alright. Come up here, let's see what the switch does. Open the door. Huh, well that's how you get out. It's kind of elaborate considering there's not there's only one little step I mean, there's not much to the puzzle. But I there's suppose there's a lot there of walking be. and waiting. Yeah. It's the TD. <laughs> Oh, 
When Microsoft announced that, I mean, when they announced that Dragon Quest XI S was coming to all the different platforms, was it announced that it was coming to Game Pass? Do you guys know? The Dragon Quest XI is coming to Game Pass? Don't know. Because it is coming to Game Pass, which is pretty awesome. I won't even have to buy it if I want to try to play it right away. Oh, cool. I need to play it then. Don't you have it on, like, three consoles already? <laughs> yes! But I want to play it with Xbox achievements. Oh, that guy's got a bird head! Look at that. He's an actual humanoid bird. Nice. Wonder if you have to talk He's to also him. got bird legs. Maybe he'll eat you. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any actual dialogue. It seems like it's all going to be told like this. Paul's only going to get, get eaten if he's lucky. <laughs> End it now. Stories I could tell you. Anyway, here we go. You can preload it already, Platinum? Over a month before release? That's wild. So that guy goes up to there. I can quickly drop down here. I can release that and it'll go farther. Okay, I think I understand the gist of this one so far. And run down that ladder. Oh, didn't pull the switch in time. To wait for all of it? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Do I... You know, oh, you can't climb back up, huh? No. Do I want to trap him over to the right, or do I... I don't quite understand what I'm trying to accomplish. I think it's like that, and then I think you just hide halfway down. Smash him with the door. If it would let me... What? No. Close it. It won't okay. let you. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, you... Just want to... Like, that second ladder, you need to hide there. Nope. Don't. don't wait. Do or don't. Like, just climb halfway down the ladder. I mean, halfway what's down the switch. The leftmost switch raises the leftmost gate. Oh, I see. So you would just like hide right there, and then you would climb back up, and after he passes you. Okay. So what's the point of this switch at all? Opening the door. So you can proceed to the right. Oh, I see. And to get back up, though... No, leave it open. But I have to leave really... That's the thing, I can't get back up there quickly. I have to run all the way up like this. Yeah, I know, but you just do that. Now I... Then you just wait for him to turn around. Okay, because he's going to go back the whole way over? I see. Once again, I was trying to overthink it. Tyler's on the ball for this one. For real. Hopefully you're low enough. Yep. Quite safe. Thank you, Tyler. Paul's always no been the problem. lowest. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. More shaking. I wonder how long this game is. Whoa, a brick fell on me or a book or something. Yeah, it was a book. I don't know. You're probably like a quarter of the way through it, maybe. I bet it's not more than six hours. Five to six hours. I have Typical length. no idea on this. I, 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 there's not even any story. <laughs> this game is so How much weird. is it? Twenty dollars. I would say five. Five hours long? No, five dollars. <laughs> there's a lot of incredibly beautiful artwork at play here. Oh, yeah, it's so. beautiful. You got probes. So oh, he's gonna eat you. Look at him. That was awesome. Eat your feet first. <laughs> oh, he turned around. Good. Oh, main story's five hours, Brownmeister says. Thank you. Now... Okay, get him to turn around, then I jump across the other side. I see. Turn around. Uh, I want to just want to see what it turns into. I'd like to see that too. To find out, but oh look, he went up high. Oh, that's cool. That's weird. Like, well, There's a mechanic for you. You got another <laughs> dimension to worry about now. 
But look off to the right. Oh, pretty interesting nice. weather vane. Yeah, these things. I mean, they're interesting to look at. They don't seem to reveal that much in general. Not particularly. Oh, there's okay. a painting there, by the way. Oh yeah, good point. What you got for us, painting? I'm spoiled by the one that was interactive. Because the these one are where all you just jumped over a bunch of crap. Yeah, but that was fine. But now I want to do something with each one, and you seemingly can't. And then I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. What was the point of that? I, I have no idea. Just to be nifty? It's just the same thing every time, right? Yeah, the other Flowers. one was the same thing. Okay. Is there some sort of hidden thing in the in the painting? Because the other one, the bird thing hiding in the tree, like, blinked at you. Well, I guess we could look again just real quick, but probably not. This one's if there's going to be simple. anything, it'll probably be behind the tree on the left. Yeah, there is kind of a It's like there's something it. sticking out, yeah. It's not a tumor. Hey, Bob Jones. Yeah, uh, Platinum Matrix was saying that he likes to play Genshin Impact every day. What is that? Everyone talks about it. Yeah, it's, it's this a, free it's to play game. Gotcha game for the uh, for mobile and PC. Uh, so he's gonna see me and go up, hopefully. Theoretically. Yeah. That was it. I tail it. Oh, did you like hit a switch that opened a door or something? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> the name of the game Creeks is interesting. I don't think it's a real strong title because it doesn't tell you quite enough about it. And you could, like, if you did a web search for Creeks, a lot of things would come up and not just this game. I mean, everything Creeks, so... Bird guy down there. Interesting. So he pulled the cord on his own painting for some reason. He just totally ignores the destruction from the giant creature. You could totally fall from there, dude. You can't just ignore it. Oh, but his painting is gone. That freaks him out. He's Here's your story, Brian. Book. Yeah, he was really enjoying that book. He's mad now, though. Yeah, but thing broke my house. Good luck, everybody. I'm really liking this game, and again, the the beautiful artwork part is got to be part of the cost. Like, this isn't a game that was only done by a couple of people, you know. Like, there's just quite a lot of work put into the production. True. Values. True. Ah. Wow, that was a fast death. Yeah, you got to really run quickly. There we go. Okay, that guy can't get over here. What does this do? You can turn on a light right there, but the dog's not going to actually go all the way over there. Oh, but then I can climb back up the ladder and he can't come up to it. I guess that's the idea. Come here, stupid. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-oh, dogs and flying octopuses. Yeah, man, they've really upped the ante here. Octopi. <laughs> More of a squid. It's one of the bad guys from the day after tomorrow. Is that what it was called? No, um, Live, Die, Repeat. The Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Live, Die, Repeat. Edge of Tomorrow, as it was originally. A guy named Octopi in it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, All right. light, I missed turn that. The yeah. Yeah. Turn the light off. Why would turn I turn the light off? Turn the light off as the octopus pushes the dog back into the light, and you can freeze the dog. I see. I don't see. But I'm going to take your... So leave the light on for now? Yeah, just do... No, leave it off. It's fine. Just do okay. exactly what you were just doing. Whereas you lift the, the thing and let the octopus go through. Right. 
Yes. Hey, Heaven Smile. Sorry if I didn't say hi to you yet. I guess we just want to solve this puzzle and then we'll wrap things up. Did Iggy do the last? Yeah, it's in progress now. Yeah, it's running. Okay. Are you giving away this game? Yes, two copies of it. That's pretty cool. I think so. Did I also want to hit the octopus or no? Man, that octopus is messing up that dog. <laughs> yes. Wait. Uh oh. I need another. I need to freeze the other dog. How am I going to do that? Because I need him to be a switch to keep the bookcase up so I can get through it. I can't walk see... through the bookcase. I don't climb see through a the light bookcase. Down there. Oh wait, maybe can I go over this dog? Uh, this part now that I got the dog out of the way. Yeah, turn the light on. There's a light switch over there on the right. Oh right. Interesting. Oh, it's not a light switch. It's just a. It's key. a little bridge. This would keep the guy from coming back across. Maybe. There's no point in moving that book. That dog. Right. right? You that will force the octopus to go down. Oh yeah, that'll force the octopus down and he'll push okay. the other... And then he'll push the other dog. Push that dog out of the way, because he don't mess around. <laughs> He's nothing to truck with. Alright. Way to go, philosophy! Yo! Congrats. Alright. So go up here. Yeah, let off go up. Should and go now what do I do once he goes down? He's gonna push the dog, so just follow him. You sure he's gonna push the dog? He pushed the other one. And that's all I had to do? Looks so. Alright. I can live with that. Come on, give us another cinematic. Ooh, look at this beautiful room. Ooh, cool planet. Oh, full of puzzles and stuff. Oh yeah, this is gonna be complicated. Uh, adds purple. one, your username could be a little more descriptive. You know, like when people say it out loud, do you like hearing them say adds one? Or would you rather hear Philosophy or Shih Tzu, Tyler H1701, things like that? Yeah. It's quick to type, that part's good. Change your name to Good Luck Bear from the Care Bears. <laughs> How about Grumpy Bear? I like him. Grumpy Bear's good. Heck yeah. You know, I wasn't... I kind of like Golden Girls. You know, Matt Wrestling, Matt Young, he really likes Golden Girls, right? So it, it kind of encourages me to remember how much I used to like it. There's it's another... A good show. Sh definitely a good show. Like, very clever writing. All the actresses are great. There was another show, Designing Women, not quite as amazing a show, but I also liked that in my youth. And recently they did this live table reading. I was really impressed by it. Like, uh, all the ladies, they, they're still quite pretty, and they haven't plastic surgery their faces into oblivion, which is nice. Okay. <laughs> do you know what you want to do here, Paul? Not a clue. You want to stand on that switch and make the octopus go up. The first switch? Okay. You want him to be on the right side. Do I? Yeah, because he'll just go straight up through the middle there. Uh-oh. He didn't go up. Yes, because he's not... He doesn't have a place above him or below him to go. He you need it? him on your right side. Okay, but, so this is not the switch to stand on? It is the switch to stand on. The octopus is just in the wrong spot. I haven't oh, come at okay. you from the other side. Gotcha. That makes sense. There you go. So this is the last puzzle of the night, right? Sure. All right. This one's going to take a little bit. Now he'll go up. And he'll push one of the dogs one way or the other. Ha! Huh. He turned that one into a thing. And you want him to do the same thing to the other dog. Which, how do I force that? Uh, turn, f jump over there and turn on that switch. Uh -oh. What does it do? Yeah. I, I lowered a bookcase. That's fine. That's what you want to do. Now you want to do the same thing, except beat him as he goes up and stand on that exactly switch right. at the top to make him go to the right. 
Okay. It's going to be complicated, but I, I, I think you can do it. Uh, okay. There you go. And now, what do I do? Because flip just that hit switch. that switch and go through the thing at the bottom. Oh, there's another dog down there, though. Yeah. And where's he going to go back to? Going back to that oh. lower level there. Hmm. So I, I want to get him to go back down. Is that right? There's this light switch in the middle. I didn't do anything with that, did I? Nah, yeah. I mean, I don't see how that would help you. I don't see what benefit that would give you. Do I want to lure the dog over and then climb up? Yeah, see what happens. Yeah. But I want to do it without getting killed by the tentacle monster, so that may not that would be helpful. Yeah. Alright, how do you do this last part? The dog's not budging. Yeah, he's being stubborn. There's a That's... gap. You see, there's a gap. He can't. Oh, jump there over is a it. gap there. Okay, can you climb down that? No. So you definitely need to get that stupid octopus. Yeah, because the octopus will push him out of the way. How do you get the octopus? Oh yeah, to... yeah. So oh. go turn that one up on the top. Go up to the top. Oh yes. Okay, I see. Which one? The one that you said you hadn't done anything with. Middle one. The one, yeah, that one right there. Okay. Then now. you just send him up, and then you do the same thing where you met him up there last time, but he can't go either way, so he's going to go back down. He'll go back all the way down. Yep. Good eyes, Tyler. Good, good eye. eye. Yeah. Nice. Oh, tech guy, tech guy says he can't use the movie. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, Tech Guy, usually those things are going to be region locked to the USA region. Yeah, that's how that goes. Canada. Oh, that sucks. It does suck. I mean, not to be in Canada. Actually, yeah. probably Canada, during. Canada's a pretty cool place, man. <laughs> yeah, and during the coronavirus time, it's probably a better place to be than here, but. Just pull down the ladder. There you go. Wait, oh, that's what that is? It's a ladder, just go down it. Give me a second, guys. I had to cough. Looks like we've got another little story bit. The bird dude. He's looking for a different book to read or something. It's like, all my stuff's messed up. <laughs> I bet you kill him. I bet he's evil. <laughs> You think so? He might be innocent. He abducts, he abducts little kids and keeps them in their basement or something. Yikes, that's pretty evil. Yeah, he's going to turn out to be a bad guy. Oh, goodness. Um, where do I go from here? Oh, there's an up ladder. Okay. Wait, that's where we just came from. Wrong up ladder. So go up the other yeah, ladder. Yeah, that's wrong ladder. Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Go so on everybody... the elevator. Yeah, let's ride the elevator. Maybe we don't want to... We want to see what's at the end before we wrap it up. Elevator is the perfect way to... We, we saw him taking an elevator earlier, right? Oh, did we? Yeah. Maybe we beat the game. I don't remember. <laughs> Woo! Achievement unlocked. So, everyone, we've been playing a game called Creeks from Amanita Design, the makers of Machinarium. Creeks is quite a beautiful game filled with puzzles. Tiny bit of adventure, but it's really just all about solving these different it's a puzzles. puzzle game. Yeah, and there's a great mystery, and the artwork obviously is quite gorgeous and unique. So, I love that about it. Oh, we've got another painting, too. It's 20 bucks. It's on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Switch, and Steam. So you can get it on pretty much everything, which is nice. But is it on the Stadia? I think we all want to know. Uh-oh, That's look at a that. real question. Oh, look, we got another interactive one. we got to do the interactive part. Is it on PlayStation Vita? So... Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and checking this out tonight. Tyler, thank you for coming back to us as co-host. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here. Human Brian, it's always great to have you back. Indeed. Good to be here. Icky, thanks for running the contest like a boss with your physical Vita games that you never play. What a shame. 
<laughs> so I love you guys. Remember, everybody, we stream every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Always a different game and different prizes. Lots of fun. We'll catch you next week. And remember, don't hate. Appreciate. See you guys. Have a good one. Now that I'll hold a little SOPs. I almost forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you. Heaven Smile, BX Latino, Bob Jones, Ads, Philosophy, Vinny, Thyrenia, Wolfblade, Tech Guy, Ectotastic. Hey there. No time for games. Probably some other people. The C was here earlier. I remember that. Homie Drew, of course. Jordan and Cloven Casey. Yes, both of them were here tonight. Saturday Game School loves you, kids. Platinum Matrix. Oh, of course. <laughs>